What's up kiddos? Trobro is back with another drawing with Trobro and today we're going to be looking at Maurice Syndex, Where the Wild Things Are. And in this project we're going to be looking at the awesome illustrations of Maurice Syndex who drew these great books and uh, they made a movie about it so you can go watch that too. But um, it's really awesome so let's get our pencils ready and get started. Alright, so I'm going to start with drawing a horizon line and I'm going to be drawing very lightly because I know I'm going to need to erase some of these lines. Now I'm going to start with the simple shape of my wild thing's body and it looks kind of like a potato and I'm going to put it just like about an inch above the horizon line and I'm going to go and I'm going to draw the feet and they're kind of just like uh, two like rectangle shapes with little hills at the bottom of them. Now for his arms, they're going to be kind of like just hot dog shapes. They just kind of come down go around and then come back. I'm going to put one up and then uh, one down so it looks like he's kind of waving to you. And then little triangles for claws. Um, I'm making them kind of small. Just four little bitty ones. Not too complicated. I'm trying to keep this really simple. And I'll add, let's do some eyes. So I draw kind of like two slanted lines and then like a little half circle underneath. And I want my wild thing to look, I think like a cat so I'm gonna put like a little triangle nose on him and then I'm gonna give him a little grin with a couple of sharp teeth all right so a lot of the different wild things you know were inspired by different animals like goat or a lion or a bull so you know you can copy the one that I'm doing and make yours a cat too or you can like you know look at the book wild thing or just really think of any animal you can think of and try to apply it to this and then I'm gonna give him kind of like a little waist because there's a wild thing that has like scales for pants and I really like that so I drew like a little line where his waist is and I'm just going to do uh, little U shapes over and over again make sure they're the same size. I'm also making sure that I'm drawing very lightly because I know I might have to erase something later. So I'm going just all the way down to his feet with this scale pattern. All right, now as I get down here to his feet, I need to draw his claws. And for his claws, I'm going to draw little like taco shapes. And I'm going to kind of stack them right on top of each other. So it looks like he's got his big toe really close to you. And then the next one's a little bit farther away. So it's just a taco shape, a straight line with a little arch on top. Really simple. And then I'm going to finish doing these scales right up into the claws. All right. Now I think I'm going to add after this uh, a moon up here in the top left corner. Just like a C shape. So called a crescent crescent moon and then I'm gonna draw a little plant over here and it looks kind of like a mustache so it has kind of like a little curve on the top and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my paper sideways and draw the same mustache but going up and down and this is a little plant that you see in Maurice Syndex where the wild things is book and so I kind of just like copied from him this little like plant that looks really good when you put it like on the ground and stuff and then I'm going to come over here to the right and I'm going to draw a little tree, a little palm tree, like the ones we see and where the wild things are. So a nice little tall rectangle. And then the leaves on top, these little palm trees, are also like tacos, kind of like his claws. So I'm going to draw like the two in the front and then I'm going to draw like a line and then another arch going right to the middle. So all my leaves are coming out of that one point in the middle. I just put five, you can put six if you want. And then I'm going to add a couple pieces of tall grass around my tree. And they're just kind of like really long triangle shapes. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to erase some of this horizon line. Because the horizon line is actually really far away. So I erase that. That's why it's really important that you draw lightly. And then I think my picture is pretty much all the way done. All I need to do now is go over all of my pencil drawing with the Sharpie. For this part, I'm going to speed it up. So you can see what it looks like when I color it in like 30 seconds, but in you know reality it took me uh, you know a few minutes to do. I'm using an ultra fine point sharpie though, because I want these lines to be nice and skinny. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of a texture to the ground so you know that it's just grass. So I'm just gonna go around and add like maybe like two little lines, then three, then maybe four, a little random, kind of just place them everywhere. It has a little bit of a texture to it. You can also see like for his fur, I did like little tiny lines for his fur to make it look like there's a texture there. And now I'm going to use some watercolor paint. So let's get my watercolor out. Now your watercolor usually only comes with one green. But if you look at a color wheel, green has two neighbors on the color wheel. It's next to blue and it's next to yellow. That's because blue 
and yellow when you mix them together that makes green. So if you add any of green's neighbors, either blue or yellow, to green, you're going to get a different kind of green. You're going to get either a bluish green or a yellow green. And so I want to make sure that I'm not just using the exact same green for the grass, the plant, the leaves. All right. I want to kind of mix it up and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be adding a little bit of yellow sometimes to my green, I'm going to add a little bit of a blue to my green and it's going to get me all these different variations of green so I just don't see the same one green that the, you know it came with. So I add just a little bit of green right there in the middle and then I'm going to clean out my brush because I don't want to get any green in my yellow and I'm going to add yellow to this plant and so it's going to make a really nice yellow green and it's going to make it stand out. It's going to look really pretty. All right, I'm going to do the same thing up here to this palm tree. Add a little bit of green right in the middle, then clean my brush, and then add some yellow. And then as I'm going to go around, I'm going to kind of try to like stay away from areas that are wet. Like if there's a part of my painting that's wet, I don't want to paint it. So like right now, uh, my grass, okay, I want it to be like a regular green, not a yellow green. And uh, I don't want to paint the grass right now because that plant's wet. Same reason why I don't want to paint this uh, the tree trunk because the leaves are wet. Alright, so I'm going to kind of move around my painting, okay? It's alright if like after you paint something you go do something else for like 5 or 10 minutes and then come back to it and let it dry. Because like if colors start to mix that you don't want to mix, you know, you can make some colors that you don't like. So make sure you're being patient and taking your time. I'm going to speed this painting up so you can see what it looks like all finished. Alright, right here you can see that I'm adding a little bit of blue to my grass right there just to make it a bluer green. Make sure that I get all different kinds of greens. Now I'm going to use black for my sky and take my time going around all of these shapes. Remember, art is not a race. It's about making really pretty looking things. So take your time and then as I'm finishing up, you can see my finished wild thing. I can't wait to see what your guys' look like. I'm sure that they're going to be awesome. Um, you guys are super talented. There's my wild thing. Well, kiddos, I hope you had fun making your wild thing. I want you to keep practicing and stay tuned to my channel for more art projects.